Hi, this is Josh. I'm going to talk about WordPress plugins for a while. Uh, specifically, I want to talk about using PHP namespaces. Um, if we just um, look at a PHP file for a second, I started this one. And um, this is the problem when, like, before I understood what classes were in the PHP function in PHP, and I was sort of making my own child themes. I, you know, do something like get menu, and then I run into a fatal error because get menu existed, and I learned. You got to put like your own slug in front of it. And I was like, JP, Josh Pollock. And then turned out like Jetpack used that. So it's a whole can of worms. But um, we have that same problem with classes as well. Um, if I have class menu in my plugin, you might too. And the solution to that is that we use what's called a namespace, where we generally start with the vendor. Um, so mine will be like Josh or, you know, whatever yours in Jetpacks is automatic slash Jetpack. Um, so even if I add Josh slash Jetpack, um, we might have some confusion, but the code would work together. So let's just say this is Josh slash, oh, I don't know, it doesn't came up. Now this menu name is totally safe. Um, that's the problem that uh, this solves, uh, the namespaces have solve for you, is that confusion? And they can also work with, functions as well. Like anywhere else, in any other file, pretending this is a new file here, I would have to do use Josh admin menu in order to use that function. Let me show you what this looks like in a WordPress uh, plugin. Let's just go ahead and close out of here. It's actually is plugin machine itself, um, the code, but Let's go to the app and um, create new plugin real quick. Uh, let's do coffee. It's the name of this plugin. I do have T in my logo. Just full transparency. There's an earlier version of this video where I went on a long rant about that and like screw the whole thing up. So doing it. Um, yes. Click that there, let's choose all features now. Uh, so I'll bring up this screen and you'll say custom composer and PHP tests because I'm going to use composer for my auto loader that sets up my namespaces for my classes. I'll show you how that works. Um, just like in what I was showing you, I want to add a root namespace, we'll say Josh, and then this was coffee. So it's like the name of the plug. If your company is Super, and you're making um, a social share plugin would be like super slash social share. Yeah, something like that. Coffee is cool. I'm not against coffee. I like it. Um, so I'm going to click on PHP auto voter. And then, so we have something to, put, to test this out with. Let's enable unit tests. Right. Uh, package. that up. I just wanted to have something to play with here to show you how this works. As this opens, I'm going to hit Composer install. Um, You've certainly seen this a lot where you see a file exists vendor auto loader. And you see it doesn't exist yet here. Um, it's in composers in the process of installing all of these packages, these third party packages. And, um, and in other words, came into then now it, when it's done, it generates that auto loader file. They can improve it that way. Um, and these all have their own definition of their auto loader, saying um, this is one of our testing resources. It's saying, in this directory, there's source, um, and then brain slash monkey is the root namespace. So all of this, these two files here have that namespace. See? Um, and then this one here is going to use brain slash monkey slash exception. I know that because those are the rules of PSR4, auto loader standard. Um, this one's going to be 
X, oh, it's expectation slash exception, right? This one's going to have that extra layer. It's matching the directory structure. So the directory structure tells you what the thing does, right? Um, and it also tells you where it is and what it's called. So this is already set up for you when you make a plugin with plugin machine. Um, if you want to change the directory where your classes are, I use PHP. Uh, this is easier to change than like JavaScript building tools that use source also. That's my reason, but we can use source. Change this. Source doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to need to do those are update to rebuild the auto layer. So it has the right path. Um, anyway, um, I also, so that means that this guy here, this class, has the root namespace. And um, so we're in our test real quick. You can see here, these have this slash test slash unit uh, namespace. This is a different root that I set up in this wall we have created in dev. Um, like this auto ogre doesn't get created when you ship to production for obvious reasons. Um, but you can see here that we're testing that this class works, but it only works because of this use statement here, right? Brought it into scope. I said use that class with its fully qualified namespace. And you can see that also for brain monkey, which we were looking at before, um, there's some mocking using its function, a function in its namespace functions. So we had to bring that namespace in. I get rid of this. It's going to assume that this is in the same namespace. And it's going to say, this class doesn't exist. Um, it would have to be here for it to exist and be in the right namespace, but that is incorrect. And so if you're grouping your classes the way that you're supposed to map the PSR4 standard, um, things that are like initializing here, like main uh, classes that we go here are like if I had like my class that was like coffees, this will collect my coffees, right? I'm going to make sure it's in the same namespace as this one, because that's where it goes. I'm going to give it the same name as the file. That is the rules. And here, um, in the constructor, I love how when I talk, I forget how, like, that you need to put function in front of the function. Um, we just do new coffees right here. And this is known, you know, this, that test case, which is going to, you know, instantiate this plugin is going to be fine because this is in the same directory. But if I then go and create coffees, Copies here as a directory, and inside of it go like roast. Now, my namespace is going to be Josh slash coffee slash coffees because that's the name of the directory. That's uh, like roast, and then. If I go here and I go even inside of that, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, this is now going to cause an error because it assumes it's in the namespace unless it knows otherwise. And so now this will pass. And this is a cool way that um, it 
Yeah, except for you have to go slash coffees. Right, because it's in this here. I don't have to look to find it. I can just look at what it says uh, in the directory structure. All right, now it passes. Great. I made a small typing error there. And so I actually, like, this is the beauty of tests as long as you uh, test on what you, some part of the code runs. Uh, it catches silly mistakes like that that are really small and you shouldn't make, but like you're here. Um, but what I like about this is that you can start organizing your code where you're like, books. Yeah. In the books. This starts to, I, if you hand me this plugin, you're like, hey, Josh, can you go in and add a feature, or get, you know, fix a bug with how the, the databases tables or we have a custom database table, so I'm saving it correctly, for example. I've never seen this. I'm going to open up composer.json and go, okay, all my PHP stuff's in source. Oh, there's a database directory, but you, the issue somewhere in there. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, just another way that you can, um, make your life a little easier as well as play nicely with others. Remember the whole point here of namespace setting is so that way your code can work side by side with other people's code. Um, and you don't have conflicting class names, which is super important in WordPress when you don't know what all the other plugins on the site um, uh, that's, uh, that your plugins installed on are using. Um, and so this is a great defensive code tactic, but it also makes your you know, files easier to find. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. You can go to pluginmachine.com slash subscribe, sign up for subscribe to this, sign up for the email list, other fun Easter eggs hidden there. Great. Thanks for watching.